Hi there, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. Our providers frequently get asked, where do the cells come from that we're using for treatment? Well, in the United States, we're very fortunate to have very high quality birth tissue acquisition companies who are registered with the FDA, accredited by various agencies in the uh, United States, and that is where we get our birth tissue for um, R3's labs. And what happens is the birth tissue companies will screen the donors very heavily. There's like 200 and some questions that are asked of the potential donor. And to make sure that there's no risk factors for drug abuse, they're not smoking or vaping, no recent tattoos or travel. They look at the medical history of, of the patient and the fam the donor and the family, you know, and, and if they get through that screening, then they can become a donor. Of course, there is a consent that goes along with that. And when the scheduled C-section occurs, and these are women between the ages of like 18 and 35, I think the average age is about 25, the baby's fine, the mom's fine, and the umbilical cord, instead of getting discarded, goes into a sterile container. It comes to our lab or any lab that they're working with overnight on a saline ice bath and then it goes into an antibiotic bath for a few hours and it gets washed and washed and washed and then processed. I'm not going to go through the whole processing. Um, it's a little bit in the weeds, you know, but our lab, like the best labs, is GMP compliant, basically pharmaceutical grade. We're ISO certified. We have the clean rooms with the particle counts. Our particle count counter tests every 10 minutes uh, for temperature, humidity, particle counts. You know, it's, it's very rigorous. So once the material is processed and the birth tissue um, is then, it goes into the various vials of what the product is, then it goes into uh, cryopreservation in quarantine for two weeks. And a lot of the vials are sent out to a third party for testing. And they will test for all types of diseases, such as uh, HIV, hepatitis, syphilis, West Nile virus, cytomegalovirus. It's a pretty lengthy list, along with bacteria, virus, fungus, and endotoxin. And now all that testing takes about two weeks. All right, so none of it gets used. It just sits in the cryopreservation freezer at negative 80 uh, degrees Celsius until all the testing comes back. And if it's all negative, then it can be used or, or shipped out, you know, to our clinics. So that's how the process works. So visit us online at r3stemcell.com. Call us to set up your free consultation at plus one eight four four get stem and while you're on our website scroll down and download for free the comprehensive consumer guide that we wrote it's over 300 pages of very very good uh, information the references are in there with the peer-reviewed literature um, and we'd love to help you get the outcome that you want all right 